guys welcome back to my channel i feel like i've given you so many story times or experiences from when i was pregnant but there's one that i was kind of reluctant to tell because it is a bit gross if i'm honest i'm gonna give you guys the story time of how horrible my housing experience was before i had noah I was eight months pregnant when I started looking for my own place and it's not like I had a huge amount of options. I was so stressed about finding a place. I'm not joking, I accepted the first flat that I saw. In terms of location, it was amazing. It was really close to all of my friends and family. It's where I grew up, it was close to where I worked at the time. And the flat in itself wasn't that bad. It was actually quite a cute flat. I was pretty much in the mindset of like, this is not my forever home. I just need something for now so that when I have Noah, I have somewhere to live. It was above a shop and there was basically three flats. So I was on the middle floor and I pretty much moved in straight away so as i said i was eight months pregnant and for the first week or so everything was fine the only thing about the flat is that i really really needed redecorating and at the time most of my immediate family lived out of london so my mum, my dad and my sister lived out of london and obviously i needed help because i was eight months pregnant so i asked them to come down and help me just paint the flat and get everything ready before noah was born so i was really stressed out about having everything right making sure i had everything in like the right place everything was clean and it was a good environment for a baby to come come into now my family were coming down kind of one by one so my sister was the first one to come down out of my immediate family because my little brother was still in school out of london so they couldn't all come down and she was helping me paint and my older brother was still living in london so they were both helping me paint and one day they were both out i was i remember being like up on the kitchen counter trying to paint the ceiling and i was painting and then i saw something <laughs> I saw something in the corner of my eye and my immediate instinct was there was a fire extinguisher like attached to the wall and I grabbed the fire extinguisher and I threw it and it hit this thing on the floor and I it was like it was quite big put a, like a big jar over it and when my brother came back I was literally like still on the kitchen counter and I was like judge what is that and he was like I don't know like he was really close like looking in the jar and I was like do you think it's a cockroach and he was like no it can't be a cockroach and I remember thinking like the look on his face when I said that well why can't it be a cockroach like like what's so bad about them because i didn't know anything about cockroach infestations or just infestations in general I, just, I didn't know anything and i kind of just thought you know like when you see a beetle outside is that a thing that's kind of what i thought it was like when i say like my whole life fell apart because i was reading you can't get rid of them they come in trillions like they're in your walls they're everywhere and things like that literally make my skin crawl i can't do bugs i can't Ugh. the jar is still over this Thing on the floor i've obviously called the landlord and i'm like hey there's a um there's a bug on the floor uh would you know anything about it and he's like oh um no he, i said there's never been like any kind of like problem before like with a large massive bug and he was like oh well there was a cockroach infestation but there hasn't been one for years why why did these things happen to me like why me i was like okay well i'd really appreciate if you could get someone to come and check that this is a cockroach please and he was like yeah well i'm away at the moment so when i get back i'll sort it out and i was like no no you don't understand i'm having a baby in a minute i need them to be gone by the time the baby is here so i was like listen i'm gonna call an exterminator myself terminator or exterminator whatever they're called and i want someone to come and just firstly double check what this insect is and make sure there's no more of them um he was like yeah okay that's fine i'll give you the money back so i was calling like all these different exterminators like trying to figure out who the best person to come to the house was i literally walked for about an hour just on the phone to all these different exterminators and i spoke to one he started telling me because where i lived it was a row of houses above shops and he was like the only way to make sure they're all gone is if you were to tent the whole row and i was like well i can't what like what and then i was like is there no way to just get rid of them he was like you could isolate just your flat but the best thing to do is talk to your neighbors make sure they're on board to try and get at least your building all done he wasn't really giving me that much hope he was basically saying that whatever you do they will come back firstly let me just actually double check that it is a cockroach because i am a bit dramatic so i just want to make sure that it is what i think it is i got back to the flat and i knocked on the downstairs neighbor's door and i was like hey sorry to like bother you i just moved in upstairs and i was just wondering if you had ever had any problem with a cockroach infestation and she was like oh yeah like we've had a problem for years um she was like but they're harmless um they're harmless and they don't do anything and like you barely ever see them and then i'm not joking 
I looked on the floor, yeah, and there was a dead one on the floor. And I was like, okay, thanks. And then I went all the way to like the upstairs neighbor and I was like, asked the same question. And they were like, we never ever see them up here because we've got cats. I can't live here. I can't do this. But I've signed a tenancy, obviously. The landlord has agreed to help try and get rid of them. But from what I'm reading, they don't go away. Anyway, the exterminator guys come, he's looked around and he's like, I can't actually see any, but they only come out in the night times. So you wouldn't really see them unless the infestation was really, really bad. And he did say for you to have seen one in the daytime, the infestation has to be quite bad. So I was like, okay, this is just great news. Oh my God, it actually makes me feel sick. Okay, and then he laid traps down and I asked my brother and my sister to stay in the flat and I went and stayed with my nan because I can't do it. So they were basically making sure like they would, you have to check the traps um, to see like how many there are, how bad the infestation is. So they were nice enough to do that for me because they're not as like squeamish as me when it comes to things like that. It came to a point when I'm supposed to be living there and I'm not. I need to actually just go back to the flat, try and stay there. Like my sister was like, there hasn't been one in the traps. I think maybe there was one. I need to at least go back to the flat and like sort things out. I went back and I went back and there was one in the shower. Oh. Okay, so I called the landlord and I said, listen, because the, basically the exterminator that came, what he did was he laid a gel out. So basically what's supposed to happen is they eat this gel that the exterminator put down and they bring it back to like the colony or the queen cockroach or whatever it is, I don't know. Um, and then they're supposed to like die out from that, like from poisoning basically, but it takes a long time. It's not working because they're still, like we're still seeing alive ones. I'm having a baby. It's not like I have years to sort this problem out. I'm not joking, right? I would sit there at night scrolling through. And if I've learned one thing in my adult life, do not Google anything that you're worried about because people only share their experiences if they are negative. So I'm reading people who were like, I moved house and the cockroaches came with me. So I'm thinking they're gonna be with me for the rest of my life. Like I can't get rid of them. This is just me, me, my baby. And the cockroaches were a family. And I just literally, when I say like, I can laugh about it now, sort of, but at the time I would literally sit there and cry my eyes out. Cause I was thinking like, everything is going wrong. Like my pregnancy is wrong. The house is wrong. I have cockroaches, nothing is going right. And I was like, this is literally just the universe telling me like, this is not what is supposed to happen. And anyway, so I called my landlord and I was like, I need it to be sorted out and I need it to be sorted out properly because the, the exterminator that I called, I feel like he was really young and he didn't really know like what he was talking about. Like when you would ask him questions, he was a bit, oh, I think. So yeah, I, I asked him to call another exterminator. He said he was going to call another exterminator. So I was at work. I came back from work and I am not joking. If you think this situation couldn't get any worse, I've opened the door. So obviously it's a communal hall, right? So I've opened the door to the communal hall and I'm not joking. When I say hundreds, Hundreds. Let me breathe. When I say hundreds, right? I've opened the door and they're all on their back, like wig wiggling their legs, like, but they're dying. And I was literally like, I've never in my life, I genuinely felt like I was in a horror film. I opened the door, I looked, I nearly died. I closed the door, I called my brother, I was like, please come here. What on earth is happening? Like what, why are they all out dying? I don't understand. And rather than my landlord calling an exterminator, he's gone and brought like cockroach killer, like this, like a spray. And he's sprayed the whole communal land in, right? And then basically what happens is the cockroaches come out and as soon as they like touch the spray, they start to die. And then I'm pretty sure from what the exterminator said, the rest of the cockroaches basically come looking for the other cockroaches who have died and then they all die slowly. And when I saw the extent of how, oh, it makes my skin literally itch, of how many of them there were on the floor, from that day, I was like, I can't do this. I can't, this will be the end of me and I'm not even exaggerating or being dramatic. I cannot, I can't do this, I can't. I can't live here, no. In my head, I'm thinking, apparently like for every one you see, I think there's a hundred or a thousand more in the walls or something. I don't know, because I was reading on the internet. There's a lot of them, like for there to be that many and for it to be like houses that are attached, it's a very, very big infestation. I complained so much, not like a normal person. I mean like five times a day, I would call my landlord and be like, I can't do this, something needs to be done, I can't live here, I'm having a baby. I used to sit there and cry and think like, how on earth, like, I won't be able to put her on the floor. I couldn't even be in the house, so how on earth am I gonna be in the house with her? And I complained so much that eventually my landlord was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna like waver the tenancy. You're not worth the hassle that you're bringing me. But the one condition he gave was that I had to be gone on that day. So I'm really at a deficit at this point because I've 
pay to live in a cockroach infested house and decorated it i was like do you know what it's worth it if there's no more cockroaches so again i'm reading on the internet how do you make sure you don't bring a cockroach infestation with you when you move house. I had to pack every single item individually, like to make sure there was no egg or cockro cockroach or anything. My granddad and my brother helped me move that night. So we moved all of my stuff into this flat on the 30th of October. And then on the 31st of October, I was like sorting this flat out, just like put in my bed together and stuff. And then I went into labor. I cannot even begin to explain how horrible that was on top of everything else that I'd gone through. It makes me feel sick. But yeah, that's my story time on my housing before I had Noah. I feel like it's a story I actually tell all the time. I used to be so embarrassed of it, but it's really like, it's not my fault. It was horrible to go through. For like a year after I moved out of that flat, I'm not joking, you know, like when you see something on the floor, I would be like, oh my God, it's a cockroach. Like it's happening again. And I'm not like, I had PTSD, I'm not even joking. That's my story time on my housing. If you enjoy me telling story times, I'll try and think of some more like interesting things I've been free to tell because my life is quite boring. But yeah, if you enjoy them, let me know in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm literally one subscriber away from 500. So if you want to be the 500 subscriber, feel free. I'm so proud of myself because I had planned to hit 500 by like June or July. And obviously it's come a little bit early, which I'm really, really grateful for because I love content creating. Thanks for watching.